I think we can now start drilling into, okay, what are some of the ecosystem players doing to you know, take gaming to the next level, if you will? And I think one thing that uh, impressed us that stood out, at least in terms of a marketing splash, uh, was the fact that Qualcomm last uh, month came out with their Snapdragon G series uh, portfolio designed for, you guessed it, the next gen handheld gaming devices. So this is like one segment of the overall you know, cloud gaming uh, universe, but it's a, obviously it's a very important one. Now for me, the key highlights included the fact that the Snapdragon G series uh, handheld gaming uh, portfolio now spans three tiers, G1, G2, and G3. And specifically with Snapdragon G3X Gen 2 platform as the newest enthusiast class processor. And I do like the marketing reference there to uh, enthusiast class. It kind of really brings home the point that there's a dedicated audience out there when it comes to uh, gaming, uh, cultists almost. Uh, but with that also in mind, what else uh, was important was that the expansion of the Snapdragon G series uh, product line is addressing that growing diversity in gaming content, the capabilities and the cost, again, to enable a wider range of handheld gaming devices and form factors. And I think we agree that's always going to be important. Now, in terms of, okay, who's onboarded already, at least with this specific Qualcomm initiative, I think there are some important names, including uh, Aa Neo, uh, Joaquin, Invettech, Thundercom, and you know others. Uh, so hopefully I did some justice to pronouncing a couple of those uh, players, but uh, they're you know, understood in the gaming uh, certainly segment as uh, very important contributors. And as a result, uh, they're actually, you know, collaborating with Qualcomm to get more of these devices out in the market, uh, you know, basically being powered by these new uh, Snapdragon G series capabilities. And so Olivier, you know, what were your impressions? What, uh, I guess, impressed you the most about, you know, this new uh, Qualcomm Snapdra Snapdragon G series announcement? Actually, a lot. So one, one thing that I don't know if our, our listeners and viewers know this, but um, uh, Qualcomm with the Snapdragon uh, SoC in mobile has been a, a leader in, in uh, developing mobile gaming as well already. So the, the departure with uh, this sort of Steam Deck style, you know, handheld, de dedicated game controller uh, when they when they first came out with it was a little bit of a head stretcher with the uh, uh, with the analyst community. Some I, I know that some of my colleagues were a little bit skeptical about this, uh, but the form factor was solid, and I think they they went to market mm -hmm. with a really good value right. prop and and really good hardware as well. So now jump jump to now. And we have this expansion of the line. So, as you said, the uh, it's it's a little bit of a mouthful. But there are three three levels. You have the the G three X Gen two, which is the enthusiast class uh, version. So it's it's basically the premium. So it's mm -hmm. best in class. Uh, we're going to circle back to this in a second, but it's it's meant to also be compatible with XR glasses. So you don't necessarily right. just look at the screen. You're you're going to be able to hook up uh, or connect your uh, your favorite set of uh, of XR glasses to be able to play that way. Uh, it has a bunch of cryo A cores, uh, GPUs. I mean, it's it's super solid. Um, but what's interesting is is the expansion downward. So you have the the right. G2 Gen 1, uh, which is sort of like the mid range. There's there's not a whole lot to say about this one other than it is mid range. If you don't want to spring for the you know all bells and whistles but you want something uh, a little bit better than the Gen 1, uh, I mean, the G1 Gen 1, uh, excuse me, uh, you have this. Mm -hmm. But the, the the most interesting one in there is actually the G1 Gen 1. So it's they're all kind of tongue twisters. I have I have <laughs> no say in, in the nomenclature here. Um, but essentially, it's it's a it's a version of this that is designed to be for streaming. So this is all cloud gaming. Um, and so the, the discussion that we started with, with the, the the push for cloud gaming and the the need for really fast, low latency, low jitter connections for gaming um, manifests itself into that that class of uh, of device that that G1 Gen 1 uh, in the case of Snapdragon 
um, where, I mean, you can connect to Wi-Fi and you're going to be fine, but the point is to be able to take that device with you anywhere uh, on your commuter train, in the streets, in a park, wherever you go, um, so that you can play anywhere and you have this ubiquitous connectivity. And so I think what, what we're seeing is, is the hardware vendors essentially answering the call and saying, okay, these are the devices that are going to pair with these new 5G capabilities and these services, and the two together are going to work for you. Um, and so we're, we're sort of like closing the loop a little bit on that value proposition, finally. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a few years coming, but it's, it's starting to happen. No, it, it's definitely uh, most welcome. In fact, uh, when we were on that uh, conference call, uh, the question I asked was, how will Qualcomm define success with this initiative over the next year? And really, uh, the response was they want to make sure that they capture what the OEMs are discovering as the most important features, the most important capabilities You know that uh, the users out there, the customers out there are demanding and driving. So in other words, it's really you know, a collaborative objective here. Let's find out, you know, how to you know, continuously improve, uh, you know, the processor capabilities so that the overall gaming experience will be all the more rewarding, and uh, for that matter, uh, more, you know, potential revenue streams for, you know, all the uh, parties out there. And and I think that's certainly good news for, you know, for example, the Android community.